Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, coming at you from the studio here in Wall Street, and it's been a hectic day for really no reason whatsoever. Why? Well, let's get this report started, and I'll tell you exactly why. So without further, further ado, it's almost 4 o'clock on a Fed Rate Thursday. Everyone's ready to go home and enjoy the beautiful weather outside, and here are some beautiful words to match that beautiful weather. It's happy hour here in the Big Apple. U.S. stocks, they're trading more than 1% higher this Thursday afternoon over at the big board as investors take in the Federal Reserve's rate hike decision and Fed Chair Janet Yellen's press conference. So what exactly happened today? Well, to little surprise, the central bank keeping interest rates unchanged. A hike in short-term interest rates would have been the first time since 2006, but that obviously did not happen. And yes, stocks, they were still on the up and up even after or even before the Fed as initial jobless claims figures fell slightly to 264,000. Also, August housing starts falling about 3% and the Philadelphia Fed index for September coming in negative 6. And with Asian markets mixed, crude oil down 25 cents to be just below 47 a barrel, gold futures reversing losses to jump about $8 and the U.S. dollar trading about 1% lower against its major your counterparts, then you have yourself a session over at the big board where three stocks have advanced for every decliner. Let's now take a look to see how the markets have shaped up to close out this very interesting trading session. And on the earnings front, Rite Aid reporting before the bell, Adobe Systems reporting after the bell today. And if you want more corporate news, check out the earlier market movers report from ModernWallStreet.com with our very own Lelda Smates. And with that stated kickback, relax, grab yourself a drink, and cheers. Not just because the day's over, but also because tomorrow's Friday. And it's also the first day of the Subway Series. Let's go Mets. From ModernWallStreet.com, I'm James Swinney.